Assalamualaikum everybody. Welcome back to another video of CSC220 data structures. And today we'll be dealing with queues. But before that, I want to talk. Uh, take two minutes to uh, fix a mistake I made in the last video. We created the link list class, and then we also created the stack array class. However, we forgot to make an object of the stack array. We made the object of stack instead. So that's why we got the same exact output. Even though every method is working fine, there are some things we need to change. First is you need to start the printing from 1. Or, you, because this is a stack, so it's, it starts from 1. Otherwise, then the, another thing you can do is you can just, you know, start from like, for over here when we pushed, let me show you. You can just start from 0, but that's not the rule. The rule is to start from 1. This is the stack. So this is just a minor correction and as you can see the output is still the same. Okay. So this is how you do it. And the printing will happen reversely. So we need to fix the print. So I'm going to do that. But for that I'll just do it in another video or you I'll just give you a correction file where you will have the backward print that means the stack version of the print the printing is an error so please ignore that method I'm sorry for this inconvenience however the linked list one is working fine and you need to if you create exceptions you need to have them in separate class otherwise you cannot throw them properly and please try to use public before the methods if you're trying to throw an exception or anything these are the some these are some minor connection videos okay enough for that now we'll move on to stacks the real stacks so I'm going to start the start doing the queue now and we made I have already changed the elements of these videos to queue versions so I'll show you that and as for the stack, I, will, I told you, I'll give upload the vid files, Java files, and you can check out the stack printing from there, okay? So now let's start with Q. So... We're going to change this text into Q file, so let's start that. okay so we are done and now we're going to begin okay so let's start with the array first and this come on I just told to replace the push okay let me do some more replacing That looks more better. We're going to be dealing with the array queue first. So before we start doing queues, let me show you something of how a queue works. So stack was first in, last out but Q is first in first out so one is the first one to come in two and then three this is NQ one two three NQ and DQ will also start from one two 
three. So three four first in, first out. Okay. And stack was first in, last out. But Q is first in, first out. Okay. Now let's get to work. First we'll be being dealing with N queues. And if we want to track back, then we need to add something more. So Q actually has a front and it also has a back or a rear. And this is the size. And we have the array. So create the array. We can also call this the capacity. So now the front is always zero, it will start from zero, and the rear will be size minus one, which is 99. You can change the size by using something. but you can change it if it is final though okay so we are done with the construction of primary queue now we'll get straight to the end queue let me remove to remove all confusions and let's just keep it simply void so if we want to end queue what we need to do is the rear must be change so we'll work with the rear because first in first out you remember so rear plus one and then you mod it with the size this will give you that's right now I remember okay so guys there is a capacity which you can set but there is also a size okay so rear is actually the capacity minus one so in this case capacity cannot be final so okay that's the rear if you want to put a random capacity then you can do that but in that case you cannot keep it final and then you have the size you will need that later for now the size is empty the size is zero size will actually have the number of elements for now it is zero now we can work with the end cube okay so before I just explain I'll just write the code this will give us the rear that we're going to put in the next rear the not the index first index and like I told you this is a skew and then we'll have the LM size plus plus so this is the idea now as we insert an element we increase the size okay so that's for NQ and what's the name of the area I made? Okay, okay fine now for DQ if you want to send back the object then we'll have to create a temp which will create the object and it will hold the front ok 
Okay. Now front will have the place from where we'll start the dequeuing. So front will do the same thing as rear. Okay. And then of course you have to decrease the size because you have dequeued. And don't forget to return what you stored. So return 10. Once the skew is full, DQ will start. So front shouldn't necessarily be zero. Front should be equal to size. Okay, let's just keep it zero. Now we're done with DQ. Now we're going to test out if this is working. So for that, let's remove this. We don't need this. Okay, guys. Let me check if there are any errors because we don't want any terrible mistakes like we made in stack. Well, though. Let me talk about the stack. The stack list is completely okay. The stack array is also okay, but instead of forward print, I did the reverse print. So I'll do the correction at the end of the video if we have time. But let's deal with the queue first. So we have a capacity. I don't think the final is needed here. Let's just remove the final. We have this. Okay, these are looking good. NQ is NQ really that? Uh, guys, I think I missed something. We can't do that if size is equal equal to zero. Then there is a change of things. So what will I do if the size is zero? The size is zero means there is no element now. So first thing we do is put some element there. We put the element there. We change font to zero and rear to zero as well. When we put the first element in the queue, the font and the queue must be same. And then size increases. So this happens and then else we have this. I think it should work fine now. As for these values, they're fine. But we can also just, you know, put them to zero. Every single value is zero. Or since we start having values. I think this is even better. Now, let me check the DQ. I think we made the same mistake, and yes, we did. DQ will also have some conditions if size reaches 1. So, let's do that first. What am I thinking? I'm sorry, guys, I can't focus. So, if size is equal to 1, first thing is we still need to collect that. There's no change there. And then this part is okay for any, but we need to create the one that will work for size equal to equal to one. So first we copy this. This is still necessary. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to make the font null. Because reaching 1 means you're at the end. 
and you need to put back the queue into its previous state so front should be the values that you initially installed for me I kept them minus one minus one so once you reach the size equal to equal to one after the DQ you must change the font and we are back to the original places not to mention the size minus minus as well you don't need to do any of this because this is only applicable if you have something more and don't forget to return the value that you stored and as for the else that means if your size is not equal to one you can go ahead and do it and this is fine and a font should change you can also change the capacity to length it's the same thing size minus minus and returning the temp i think we are done i'm still like confused if it will work Okay. We have an error. Index out of bound zero. Oh, I think this because of the because of this class, I guess. QR. No, it cannot happen because of that class. okay so line 21 seriously how can zero be index out of bounds what are they talking about guys i think it's showing an error over here but it should work fine in your pc because zero is not an index out of bound not out of bounds we do have zero index i don't know why they're showing me this okay we'll come back to this after we are done with the list queue let me show you the changes you need to make over here and then we'll go back to fixing the array one just like we did over there we need fronts and backs so these things will not change and of course everything the constructor with not class doesn't have to change what needs to change is we need we also need a last or real So you create a node and if last is equal to equal to null then you have to make the first and last the same node because this is the initial state so you cannot but change the first that's enough for the thank you and it else we just move the last just like we did in the arrays don't forget to move the last otherwise your queue will start making problems so you're done with NQ as for DQ it's still the same and if you want to return the value then keep it and then just change the first first should be first dot next perfect however if 
first which is now then don't forget to change the rear and return the value okay we are done I don't think there is any necessity of changing the print it is still the same now we are ready I hope this won't cause errors like the other one no it didn't one two four eight and since this is a queue first in first out so one was removed perfect no errors over here see it's much easier to do it with link quest okay now let's deal with this guy so this guy is causing problems and he's being arrogant so we need to fix this index out of bounds problem let's see what I can do hold on I cannot have a static capacity that's the first problem I have do I even have any other problems let me check the NQ well if you have a size on the end size will go to element and font becomes zero rear becomes zero size plus okay let's just try after this change nope the error still shows up okay fine guys i don't think this is a problem you will face because zero is clearly not out of bounds i don't know why they're showing me this i have no idea okay let me see out of bounds it means there's an error holy shit holy shit look at this how can there be a zero if the size of the array is zero i don't know if you guys notice this oh man so embarrassing so so embarrassing seriously oh come on am i a beginner now so the dq was successful and we have to put the print over here let me show you the print to verify if it's working where does this method end okay now we're gonna check if this printing or this you know the queue I just did is working fine one of the easiest way to check is if you do this DQ the same thing four times then guys I can't actually remember how to print so it will lead some time and we have to do the stack print so I'm waiting for that if we get a DQ of 1248 then our queue is working fine so let's do this yep it's working fine and printing you don't have to print in any of your exams I just wanted to show the printing to show you that how it works but I'm confessing to you, I'm not ashamed to confess that I actually forgot the printing of Q. I don't remember how to do it. And as for the stack array printing, we'll have to, I will just upload that because I can't change everything back to the stack file. I just replace the stack file with this. Okay, let's still try. Let's see if it still exists. now i can i don't i didn't count the size okay so if we had count size then we can start the print so let's just try size equal to zero so every time you push 
you increase the size and then you start from size I is less than zero. They should do. Oh, sorry, sorry. Guys, I hope this does the work. Yep, it does, except our pop has a problem. So let's see. DQ, this is pop. Well, I didn't make any mistakes and all oh, I did. Okay, before you take that value, you just have to first, you know, decrease the size. If you decrease the size, then you're done. And It's the same thing actually. I think they should do the trick. Yep, it did. Guys, one thing you need to note is you don't need to print in any of your exams. This print is just the bonus I gave you. I mean, I wanted to show you that it works just fine. And I probably remember this is this is the same way you can print on Q almost as well. Oh, but the thing you need to remember is if you pop out and you don't include the size, then you will not get it in the print because doing this is popping that element. If you decrease the top, then that element doesn't exist. That array index is unreachable to you. So that's why even though it was popped out, when you print, the element showed up. So to print, you need to decrease the size. But the pop actually works. So don't think that we have... Pro I, I mentioned that there is problem with my pop, but there is no problem with my pop. There was problem with my printing. Because pop all you ha all these tag deals is with this int the top or the first you know so if the top is re reduced to one then it is called pop that's the definition of stack popping i'll still upload this new one as promised even though i think i shouldn't because everything is written over here but as i made a mistake this is the liability i take and I'll also upload the previous stack video, stack one. This is completely okay. I'll just change it to stack and upload it for you. You can use this. So just note that I didn't make any mistake. All I made was all I messed up was the printing of stack and queue both. So the NQDQ, the pop and push is okay so don't get freaked out about those things these are fine working fine if you just decrease the top and then your pop is popping in is okay but if they tell you to print no one will tell you to print but if someone tells you to print that is when you change the size and you get the right printing okay so that's all and I have created the files of stack as promised and I'm going to upload it to the folder the public folder sorry for the inconvenience even though it was not necessary but I still admit my mistakes on the printing and the queue is complete it's working like a charm both of them the array one and the 
list one, the error one. I can't believe I made this mistake over here. So it was fun. So this is why I named this channel Surviving. You know, even if you know any everything, or I don't know everything, but even if you know a lot, you still have to survive because silly mistake is something you cannot survive if you don't have attention. So happy surviving. The only thing you need to do is survive like I did today. See ya.